Okay, so apologies for the terrible webcam, but I wanted to do this tonight while I had the nerve. Um, so I'm making Rue's food again this year, which is food that doesn't look like it's supposed to look, or food that um, looks like a different kind of food. So like vanilla yogurt and peaches can make a pretty reasonably good looking fried egg. Okay, so uh, one of the things that I decided to do this year, thanks to a suggestion from someone uh, at the group where I serve this ruse food once a year, is I'm going to make solid chicken noodle soup. And the way that I'm going to do that is that I'm going to take gelatin and make it with chicken bouillon and then layer in um, chicken and uh, vegetables and noodles. So I promised myself that before I served such a travesty, I would try to make the chicken bouillon uh, gelatin and see how it tasted. So, um... Here it is, a little tiny bite of it anyway. You can see it looks pretty innocuous, sort of like lemon jello, um, or the uh, ginger ale jello that I made last year for this. So, but um, I decided to record my uh, tasting of this. Uh, I haven't tried it at all yet, so we'll see. So, it actually set up really, really firm, like even firmer than normal jello, in my opinion. Um, but that's pretty normal when I use unflavored gelatin to like make jello stuff. So, um, it doesn't smell like anything, which again isn't surprising, but it's a little salty when you very first taste it. Oh god, I'm worried this is gonna be disgusting, but here we go. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so it tastes like you would expect chicken jello to taste. Um which is that it tastes like like chicken broth. But it's got a crazy texture to it, so it's almost like eating unrendered chicken fat. Oh, it's not terrible. Um, it's not inedible, but the texture, oh God, the texture is not fun. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to go turn this Kool-Aid into an alcoholic beverage to try and wash that memory out of my head. But, um, anyway, there's my tasting of chicken gelatin for science, I guess. Yay.